hours a day, seven days a week. So go to OsborneHomes.com right now. Don't wait. Sell your house to Osborne Homes and put the cash in your pocket right away. Any house, any condition, all cash right now. Just go to OsborneHomes.com or call us today at 800-418-5815. Go to OsborneHomes.com. I just need to break Rams Broncos Saturday here on ABC7. Football's back, L.A. The L.A. Rams preseason on ABC7 is sponsored locally by Farmer Boys, cooking up farm-fresh burgers and breakfast just like homemade. Farmer Boys, farm food ain't fast food. This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. If anybody's seen this, stay the f*** away from Cook's Corner. There's a shooting going on. Again, stay the f*** away from Cook's Corner. Now at 11, what sparked a gunman to open fire at a popular biker bar in Orange County, making it the latest mass shooting in this country? Good morning. This is Eyewitness News at 11 a.m. live on ABC7, Hulu, and wherever you stream. I'm Giovanna Lada. And I'm Philip Palmer. Four people were killed last night, and that includes the gunman. We have live team coverage. Our Christian Cordero is on scene in Tribuco Canyon as she spoke with witnesses who recall the sounds of gunfire. But we start with David Gonzalez. He's at the command center with what we're learning about the gunman. David. Phil, of that mass shooting investigation is taking place about two miles up the road from where I'm standing right now. But I want you guys to take a, look, a live look from our Air 7 HD. Right now, authorities are calling this a very complex scene. As you can see on your screen right now, it still remains a very active investigation. All roads leading to Cook's Corner remain closed in all directions as investigators try to piece together exactly what happened last night. This morning, we are learning more about the suspect. He has been identified as John Snowling by the Orange County District Attorney's Office. We are trying to gather more information on Snowling, but we can tell you that he is a retired Ventura Police Department sergeant. Right now, our sources believe Snowling was targeting his estranged wife when the shooting took place at the bar. And for people that do not know this area, um, Cook's Corner is considered to be the most famous biker bar in Southern California, and authorities call it a staple in South Orange County. This is video of the moment after gunshots rang out at that bar just after 7 p.m. Orange County Sheriff's officials say deputies arrived within two minutes from when the first 911 call started being made and dispatch could hear gunshots in the background. They say a minute later, Snowling was confronted by deputies. They also say a deputy-involved shooting took place involving multiple deputies, and they believe Snowling was shot and killed. Authorities say in the end, four people, including Snowling, were pronounced dead at the scene. It's, it's obviously a horrible and a tragic situation. Um, these types of shootings are, are not commonplace here in Orange County. Um, fortunately, when these things do happen, um, I think we have some of the, the best and most well-trained professionals that respond in the Sheriff's Department and the Orange County Fire Authority. The Sheriff's Department says six people, five of which had been shot, were taken to a local hospital. Right now, two of them are listed in critical condition. The condition of the other four is unknown, but are stable. Among the survivors is Snowling's estranged wife. Authorities say that right now they're trying to interview dozens of people who were at the scene at the time of the shooting. The FBI and ATF are also investigating or assisting in the investigation as well. But once again, we can tell you that the suspect in the shooting has been identified as retired. Ventura Police Sergeant uh, John Snowling, and we expect a live update from authorities here at the command post a little later today. Reporting live from Lake Forest, David Gonzalez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, David, thank you very much. And David alluded to the Air 7 shot. That's where Scott Reif is, and you can see the significance of this shooting from that shot, Scott. Yeah, Philip, you certainly can. I mean, that really tells a story. Look at all of the evidence markers. We believe those are shell casings, and we believe right here on Santiago Canyon Road at Tribuco Canyon Road in front of Cook's Corner is where Orange County Sheriff's deputies encountered the suspect. There's still one body at the scene covered with a tarp, where it's unclear if that is a suspect or not. But as you look at this entire area, there's tape everywhere. There's blood scattered everywhere. We understand the vehicle inside the trees or behind those trees to the left uh, is the truck, we believe, of the 
the suspect. But as you come back out of this live shot, if you're not familiar with where this is, it's just north of Mission Viejo, and you've got uh, Trafugo Canyon Road or El Toro Road, Santiago Canyon Road, and Live Oak Canyon Road. They all come together here. They're all shut down. They will be for some time. Going to be a long playing investigation. Uh, Philip and Giovanna, I don't expect these roadways to be open for quite a while. And there are a lot of folks, I think, who just can't get through to their homes, and that's just going to be the case for a bit. All right, Scott, thank you. And our team coverage continues with Christiane Cordero. She's live in Tribuco Canyon and got some reactions from some of the witnesses there. Christiane. Giovanna, I want to give you a little bit of context of where we are right now. Cook's Corner is about a quarter of a mile up the road. Police have the space between there and here blocked off. Now, you've heard that it's a popular biker bar, right? We're told it's one of three in the area along a really popular motorcycle route. Now, all of this stems from a four-minute window last night between the 911 call and officers killing the suspect. You can imagine the chaos from people here. One woman told Eyewitness News she saw the shooter go outside after an initial round, apparently to reload. That's when deputies found him. She estimates the shooter fired a handful of shots at her or towards her in her direction, so no doubt she feels lucky to be alive. This morning, we met a man who says he works at the bar, was not here last night, but knows this place well. First, though, you'll hear from someone who was here, said he was riding his motorcycle, trying to meet up with a friend. I got flagged down by a car in the middle of the road. There, and uh, I didn't sleep last night. I can sleep because everybody called me. You okay, you okay, you okay? Because, um, you know, it's the place where I work. You know, we also spoke with another business owner who owns another biker bar just up the road, and he says that uh, he's really struggling right now. He texted the business owner of Cook's Corner to try to check in to see if she's okay. That's how close they are, how, fr how much friendship there is, despite them technically being competitors. Says that he hasn't heard back yet, but he's hoping, of course, that that's just because she has a lot going on right now. We're live in Tribuco Canyon. I'm Christiane Cordero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Christiane, still so hard to wrap your head around this. And stay with Eyewitness Witness News for continuing coverage of this deadly mass shooting. We'll take you live to the hospital where a lot of those survivors were taken. That's at 1130. And remember, you can also find the very latest on our ABC7 Los Angeles app and at abc7.com. Okay, let's turn our attention to the weather now, starting with a little bit of marine layer this morning. Brianna Ruffalo, uh, this is more what we're expecting in August. Yeah, we're looking at some sunshine later this afternoon. So we're starting to see it now for some places, but it's still pretty soft in for some of the coastal communities. So. It's been a pretty decent August so far in terms of temperatures, but unfortunately we do have another heat wave to talk about. It's about 74 down to Long Beach. We're starting to see the sun now over into Irvine as well as over Van Nuys too. So you can see that marine layer is dissipated. It is starting to warm up at about 78 degrees now. It is going to be a little cooler today due to that onshore push and that's pushed that marine layer in a bit more this morning. And then as we get into the next few days, we're slowly going to be warming up. So today slightly cooler and then we gradually start to warm up and you can see those clouds of even and moved into areas of Hawthorne, but it's still pretty nice, about 72 degrees. We'll be talking about this heat wave coming up in just a little bit, let you know how hot it's gonna be getting. Philip, Javon, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you. As we continue here at 11 a.m., these are tough times for riders and actors on the picket line. They've been out of work for months. And